words of Yule DJ. I'm going to quickly go through this one. It's very important that you pay attention. Analysis will be done on this one. And I'm so happy that it has been broken down. So let us pick number one. These are the words of Yule DJ. And he wrote it. Even white people, meaning Caucasians, I've never seen anyone white, don't understand God fully. Simply put, Yule Duche is ascribing the knowledge of God to Caucasians because many Africans have been made to believe that God was brought to them by the Caucasians, the pale-skinned people. Nobody does, actually. That's why he remains God. Many great men in the Bible had one wife. Many great men in the same Bible also had more than one wife. This is Yule Duche trying to sell King Solomon's story to us. Hmm. And if that happens to be my destiny, God will elevate you. He's talking to himself now. Although he used, and if that happens to be your destiny, God will elevate you and elevate all that concerns you through it. The question is this. How are you going to find out if this is your destiny? Because at times, people will jump on someone else's destiny. Now, Yule Duche is a Roman Catholic. At least, apart from practices of ancestral connection, such as looking for protection because of the craft that he's into. The question that we have asked you, Leduce, is this. Can you name one person who practiced polygamy and somehow, via the polygamy, did not regret it? Abraham, David, Jacob, Solomon. Are there consequences attached to it? Yes, it is possible for you to practice polygamy. It's a choice. It's a choice. According to you, Leduce, if this is your destiny, God will elevate you and elevate all that concerns you through it. Two, my wife may just signed a first endorsement deal, something that never happened all these years. And this came from what many saw as a disappointment. I have realized that God's ways are different. Now, can you let Duce say the same now that polygamy is what gave Mary the opportunity to shine? Of course, you let Duce cannot say the same now because that divorce gave her an opportunity, gave her an uncommon favor for her to fly. She lost her son. In between this, it gave her an opportunity. To discover herself. Three, many more deals will still come to her because she is a wonderful person. So is my wife, Judy. <laughs> so is my wife, Judy. Now, who is having opportunities coming to her? Is it Yole Duches Ijele, Judy, or ex Queen May? Four, Still referring to Judy. She has also been elevated. Now widely known. Her career is bigger with a whole lot going for her as well. Let me not even ask. Let me not even talk about myself. Yes. Judy Austin has co-hosted. Or co-produced. Or co-directed. Or directed. Several local movies. Back to back. But the problem is this, our elevator has refused to elevate. Hmm. Deep. Are you, are you following me? It went on. My stardom has tripled. My name is being mentioned in places it never got to before. <laughs> my God, my God. My children are blessed. Summary, the ways of God 
are different. Our destinies are not the same. You may not understand another man's destiny. And that's because you are not supposed to accept your own. Well, Yule Duche is correct here. His name has been mentioned in places it never got to before. And places that he has his name has got into, at least his craft has got into, far down to the Caribbean. Yeah, his name has gotten there. Of course, on blogs, his name is there, all over YouTube. In fact, the number of movies that Yule Duche has produced or starred or stared in, I don't think it can match to the amount of time dedicated by several blogs on YouTube. No. Simply put, your name, yes, it has reached far and wide. Outside of the shores of Africa. To the great, 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 far and wide nations. But is it for good? No, no, no. Hmm. You say the ways of God are different. You are correct. Your action has elevated Mary. Of course, the ways of God are different. If God gives you more than one wife, it will come with blessings and elevation. Round your race and put God first in all you do. It speaks to each of us differently. Love and peace to all. <laughs> it's not done yet. If God gives you more than one wife, is it God that gives wives? Or the Bible says, he that finds... <laughs> he that finds it means it is not there place for you you have to go and find it he that find it it didn't say he that I give even though God is the one that gives perfect gifts yeah it didn't say he that I give wives or wife there is nothing of such. Even though in your journey after so many years with your partner, you might uh, reflect and say, oh God, thank you for this gift, for giving me this woman. She's supportive. She has always been there emotionally. She has never beaten me down even when I am down. She has never bad-mouthed me she has never made me feel low she has never manipulated me with emotional blackmail and all of a sudden wake up and try to make a mess of my life to disturb my mental health yes that is possible but you let you saying if god gives you more than one wife so god gave you mr obasi's wife is that what you're saying all right he went on you know, you let never rest. He said, God works in mysterious ways. Marrying a second wife has brought me blessings and also elevated my two lovely wives. Sometimes it takes the things we see as disappointment to happen for elevation to come. It happened many times in the Bible, just like the case of Joseph. I am a man after God's heart. I am like King David in the Bible. I communicate with my God. And he guides me every day. The thing that Yule Duche does not understand is that he was communicating with fallen angels that are inside of the sea. That is why he woke up one day and called himself Isimili Ejiofo. Ijele Isimili. Calling Judy Austin that. It is not God that is communicating with you, but fallen spirits. I wronged my wife, May, from the way I went about it. You see, I've always said it, times without number, that Yule Duche knows that how he went about this is not fair, is not right. Question is this, how was he able to amend? 
And I have apologized to her sincerely from the bottom of my heart. He did it on social media. You did not call family meeting. You didn't make it look serious before the social media thing. But in the eyes of God, things are different. God blesses differently. His ways are not our ways. Our destinies are different. Your destiny is with Juju Ekwensu, Juju Balabala, Enugu Bag of Rice, Judy Balabala. <laughs> Don't be deceived by the Caucasian man's culture. He calls it white man's culture. Same white people that condemn polygamy are encouraging men to marry their fellow men. In the end, judgment is for God. We care less about those people. You're a Roman Catholic. Maybe that's why you're speaking this way. You're Leduce. Stop attaching Caucasian culture. There's nothing like Caucasian culture. If you go to the United States, they have a sect. Religion or denomination depends on, they are called Mormon. They marry as much as marriage permits them. If you go to some part of Europe too, Albania, you go to um, some parts like Serbia, they marry more than one wife. Some of them do. And more importantly, it's not about marrying more than one wife. A man that has a wife at home and has mistresses or concubines or rented a, a, a flat, a, a, a love nest, it is the same thing. It has nothing to do with the marriage of it. Marriage is simply you say, okay, this is me. I want to show what I want to do to the world and what I'm doing. It's got nothing to do with that. So forget what is a, a white man? What is that? I don't get it. What, what is the meaning of white man? Are you trying to say they don't have Siri? Come on. D didn't you read about Bill Gates? Why they are married, broke apart? Marriage of Bill Gates and wife? The wife said, oh, this guy is uh, having an affair. It's the same thing. Having an affair, having extra women, is the same thing. doesn't matter if you are married to them. Marriage is simply changing the name, the last name of your spouse. You can be married on paper. People know you, people, you have children. doesn't mean that the man does not have children all over the place. And does not mean that the woman does not, uh, is, didn't bring a child from somewhere else. So what is the thing? Hmm? You let it change. What's the thing? Hmm? So you let it change. You did not walk away. It was Mary that chattered your dreams that's your destiny of polygamy that vision or whatever that you say you had and you claim that god gave you wives that one she chattered it she removed herself from it you can still continue and you must fulfill this destiny of polygamy you mentioned david and you mentioned joseph let us look at joseph which part show us the part of where joseph is suffering from polygamy it was his brother he spoke too much and his brother looked and they said okay let us deal with this guy so he had to go through the route that he went through to become what he became he suffered due to envy you is this as a result of envy no you talked about david yeah there are a little bit of conflicting, you know, interpretation. Oh, the priest asked, why did you steal? If you wanted, wouldn't I have given you? Why did you take someone else's own and then take the life of that person? You let Oche, are you planning to take the life of Judeosin's husband? You people have already finished him. You don't, you don't want him to see his children. So what are you trying to say? Now you let Uche, what are you trying to say? 